Scythia Shokan Reservoir. The other day it came out. For Scythia, it wasn't really popping. This morning on the way in, yellow buds everywhere. So I'm expecting a really good day. We live by that. For Scythia starts to pop, so do the trout. But today we're using some uh, deep divers. They float. So this way if I slow up my speed, where I've had fish on, I won't drop into the rocks. Like I was saying before, me and a friend of mine, we always kind of went by the rule of thumb that once the forsythia bud started to come out, and you saw that yellow, usually that's when the fish turn on. Now I came out here the other day, it was similar to this. Today's a good cloud cover, which I'm happy. We're expecting some rain tomorrow. And uh, when I was on my way here today, going through Woodstock, New York, I noticed that there was a ton of forsythia all bloomed from the other day when I came down through. So I'm like hoping, I mean, oh my God, I've seen some top water already this morning. I was like a little chop on the water because sometimes I think the rowan might spook the fish, but it is what it is. I try to be as quiet as I can. I see a lot of top water. Actually, I'm looking out in the middle of the reservoir. But I'm hugging out about 60, 70 yards from the shore. Gives me enough room for my deep divers to work and uh, not to get hung up. I had a little bit of top water right here. Not to be greedy, but I just got here. I maybe rode 200 yards and I, I wish I had a fish on already. <laughs> but this place, I mean, if you look behind me, uh, the camera lighting is not great, but there's some beautiful sunrises here. funny I got here and a guy was taking coming into the shore and he was rowing out really fast a lot of guys sit and they, they anchor up and use saw bellies but I was laughing because I was like I'm rowing bro so I was on a fishing site yesterday upstate fishing and the guy said I don't get involved I usually don't put any comment in but the guy says yeah, people who troll, they're lazy and don't want to put the work in. <laughs> and I could have totally shut them down because I was thinking, bro, my boat's on a reservoir. You can't have a motor. You have to row. And these guys go out about 50 yards from the shore, anchor down. <laughs> and I'm going to do probably at least probably four or five miles of rowing today. So it kind of makes me laugh. I was sitting there thinking to myself, a lot of guys, you know, they'll put their comments in. And, but I think for me, there was no question I had the 100% shut them down answer. <laughs> it's like, bro, you're going to come and sh row 50 yards and anchor up on a shore. You ain't putting any work in. <laughs> oh, well. So, I did lose a lure, but I lost it on the structure, the rock wall, but I am going to change up my, the other, I'm going to run two different looking lures, so I'm going to go with the old white one, I used to have luck with these as well, um, so, let's see what happens, I wish I knew the depth a little bit better in here, because that could have been the contributing factor. Right now, right behind the wall, we're running right over the top of a wall. Not sure what this lure is doing now. Oh man, you're killing me. See, it's a different lure, so I don't know the action on. I'm reeling it in. I just don't like what I'm looking at. 
this should be a little more bounced than my my rod tip but then again it's a different lure i haven't used nope she's spinning it might there yeah see it might have got hung up on the trebles So yeah, like I was saying, right now we're running right over the top of a wall. Because this reservoir years ago, there were towns that were flooded out. So right through here, you can see there, a rock wall runs through the woods the whole length of the way we rode up. So I'm sure it continues this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run parallel right over top of it and see what happens. I've only fished out here a few times. I've never really had too much luck. Usually I would, when I got to this, the end of this cove, I would switch around and I'd go back. I did uh, years ago buy a video on the, on the history of this and it has pictures. And it was a story of a guy who, when the city had came to him, they said what they were doing with building the reservoir, he refused to leave his home and at one point got wind that they were coming to force him out of the house for the most part and basically what he did is he burnt his own house to the ground <laughs> which I've heard similar stories I was just actually watching uh, something on some people like hunters from the back in the day I guess a guy wrote a book about he had a backwoods, uh, you know, little cabin, and they allowed it back in the Adirondacks back in the day. But then as we moved to closer to modern times, you know, they were like, nah, it's not going to work. <laughs> so this guy did the same thing. He burnt his cabin down, and on the way out, I, from what I hear, is that he literally passed the rangers on the way back in to go burn his cabin down. <laughs> so, pretty funny story. So there's an island up here about 200 yards. I think when I get next to that, I'm gonna start the loop, get out and come around and back down my spot. Do I go back the way I came where I saw all the top water or do I run the gut, as I like to say, and just go right up the deepest part up the middle of the reservoir? Like I said, maybe by the time I get out, I'm going to hook a really wide corner. And because of where I'm at, I should be really out. In... Oh, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Oh, yeah. Could be. Oh, yeah, it's definitely doing some. I don't think it's a bass. Got off. Oh, nope. I don't think it's a big fish though. Oh, he might have got off. Unless he's swimming towards the boat. <sighs> nice trout. Yep, he was swimming towards the boat. I thought he was off. Unfortunately, he's got my other line all hooked up. Just want to play him a little bit. He's a big boy. But like I said, he's got my other line hooked up. So that's the bad part about fishing alone. Oh yeah, he's got some spunk.
there he is. So, it just paid off, man. I lost the lure I put on this white one. I've used a lot of times in the past. Had really good luck with it. And as I was saying in the video, I came off a rock wall and I was riding it parallel down off this cove. And basically, I had this hit and at first I, I thought he was off and I, cause I was reeling there was nothing. But what was happening is he was coming right at the boat. Um, got a beautiful brown trout. Uh, there's a lot of top water still. I had to do a lot of untangling out of my neck because he got into my other rod and he was he was just had everything tangled up. But I just heard more top water. Like I was saying earlier, I thought it was the uh, carp. But it could be these big trout, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep at it. So here's to hopefully getting another one. <laughs> So yeah, I broke off my line. I tied up a different lure figure, and since I was still going through all that, I would just try something different. I was going to go with yellow, but I was—I used to use this old white deep diver. Well, it was it 200 yards into the row across that rock wall, and we landed a five-pound brown. Easy. I've done probably at this point. I'm at the probably three-mile mark. You know, and now we're, you know, I'm heading back. So you're talking, I'll probably get to six miles in today. I, I usually never come this deep into the reservoir, but we went for it today. Got the skunk out of the boat. I mean, is it too much to ask for a 12 pounder now? Also might think about going out on the river, roll back in. If I catch something, I catch something, but maybe go try to get something at the river. That's what maybe the possibilities could be looking at. Wow, that was a huge fish. Oh my God. I had, that was no carp. That looked like a huge brown trout. That was the 12 pounder I was looking at. <laughs> oh my God. What a slob. The action here is ridiculous today. I'm just baffled by it. I've seen so much, so many fish breach water today. Still a lot of top water, way out there, a few hundred yards, and just over here. I mean, the fish are all crazy today. unbelievable fish on fish on there is still a fish on this line you got no fight Nice little trout. Hang on, buddy. We're gonna let you go. Good stuff. It's kind of like hunting, you know? When I got to do the public land stuff, I'm looking to go where nobody else wants to go. Goes back to that guy saying people who troll are lazy. <laughs> Bro, keep up with me. I may have just found some good new fishing ground. All right, boys and girls, it's the last leg of the trip. We're about 200 yards from the 
to the boat launch. Can we pull out a magical three? Well, that's it kids. We're heading in. Good day of fishing though. This episode of Appalachian Timber Ghost Outdoor Adventures was brought to you by Wild Kingdom Soap. Catch us on Instagram and Facebook.